Hello everyone, let's continue and understand another important command. So here we have the command SCP. SCP is used to copy files between servers in a secure way. So let's see how we can use SCP command to send a file or directory from one server to another server. So this is my box. So I have one more server and the destination server IP is 192.168.43.13 now I'm going to you know send a copy from my this server this is my mail.example.server I'm going to send a file so I'm here I'm going to create a file here any file you can give So the file which I am going to copy to my destination is John. So how we can use SCP is the command which can be used to send a file. The file name, my source, this is my file John. Where I want to copy, I want to copy to my this server 192.168.43. So this is the IP of my destination server. So I want that it should log in as a root. If you are copying with some local user, you have to specify that with which user the system will log in and then will copy the file. Where I want to copy, I want to copy, it should be copied to my this server at this location. So this is a simple syntax of copying the file. Now it is asking for the password, the password of your root user of this server. The file has been copied now. If you want to copy this file with some other user, you can specify some other user. Here you can use any other user, but that user should be existing at the destination and you should have the password of that user as well. Okay, so this has been done now. Suppose, you know, I want to do the reverse. Like uh, the file is at my destination and I am sitting here. I want to copy a file from my destination to this location. So how we can do that? Suppose I am here and I want to copy a file I'm going to create a directory like a b c d I have the directory okay and I'm going inside to that there is nothing here and I'm going to log into my this system 192.168 we already know that at this servers we have a file john because we have already copied let me show you So I have just logged in. I have not specified root because I have logged in as a root. So if you log in SSS to this server, by default it will take root user login. I am going to this location. John file is already there because I have already copied John file. Now again I have come back to my mail.example.server and I am in this location. I am going to copy a file which is placed at my destination server to this location. SCP. 192.168. I am not specifying user by default, it will take a user root. And uh, where it is, it is in this temp location, John. So, this is my destination server, and this is the file. And I want to copy it to the same, you can put it dot. If you want to copy it some other location, you can specify like term. So, John will be copied to the temp location of this server from this server. So I want to copy, it should be copied here. So it will be copied in this location. Now you can see that the file has been copied now. You can see that John has been copied here. So it's very simple, you can see here, we have used few options which can be used to copy the file from one location to another location and also we can copy the file from destination to your source as well. Let's move to the next. Next is your SSH. So SSH is a secure cell which can be used to log into your remote machine. So that's a simple thing. We already know that SSH is a program for logging into a remote machine and for executing commands. Suppose, you know, I have a service which is placed at a remote location. So if you have this tool, SSH putty tool, so with the help of this tool, you can put an IP there and you can log into the system. So let me show you. So first I am here, new session. So I want to log in, I can simply give an IP here, 192.168.43.30. So by default, it works on port number 22. So this port is a secure port. Open. 
and you have to specify the authentication now I'm into this system so this is my SSH next is your SFTP SFTP is an interactive file transfer program similar to FTP so basically FTP is used to transfer the file from one location to another location so via the network suppose you know I'm I have to you know working on one system and uh, I need to send few logs to the vendor I have a server HP servers and uh, there is some issue on the system and I have generated few logs and those few logs I have to send it to my vendor who is you know looking that server and who is giving the support that servers they need some logs so in that case what we can do we can use the FTP with the help of FTP I can send those logs to the vendor via FTPs file transfer protocol if it is SFTP then the communication would be secure your communication would be encrypted the file will be transferred using secure cell you can say that so SFTP is an interactive file transfer program similar to FTP which performs all operations over an encrypted SSH transport it may also use many features of SSH such as public key authentication and compression so that's all for this lecture hope you have understand what are the commands we have discussed in the next lecture we are going to understand few more good commands so thanks for watching and if you have time please please join with me in the next lecture so thanks for watching